Eight years ago, I ended up um, swimming from Robben Island to, to Bloberg, which was one of the toughest things I'd ever done. The bug bit has really changed my life. When I get into the cold water, when the water's 10, 11 degrees, I can't have one negative element that comes into my bubble. I'm a normal guy. I'm Tony. From table view, there's nothing special. I started swimming eight years ago. I'm probably one of the slowest swimmers out there, but I can make a difference in the community. And just by doing my swims, I've linked it to the NSRI and Habitat for Humanity. If we all as a community, as a South African, stand together and say, how can I make my country better? Just by doing one small thing, we're gonna live in a better place. What are you as a South African doing to make a difference? Yeah, I mean, I'm a conservation person. You know, it's in my blood. Easter Stien, it's a fully fledged nature reserve. It's got jungle gyms for kids. It's got clean and accessible beach. Blaubeck Hill is one of our key features. We've just released um, Ireland. We've just released uh, Red Heart Beast. You know, we're busy, re you know, rehabilitating um, honey badges. We've got honey badges in the reserve currently. The connection with the city while you're still in nature, it's what makes this cottage in Blaubeck so unique. I can clearly see Robben Island and I can tell what it is. And I can almost hold it in my hand from here. And I can see Table Mountain clearly. Seeing two world heritage sites, you know, and make it feel as though you can touch it. That doesn't happen anywhere. But what we recognize is that the city is developing. In that development, people need green spaces. So we hope to see this reserve playing a major role, not even five years, but 100 years from now. When we're all gone, you know, people are gonna enjoy it. And this is the legacy we want to leave for our people. I think the water gives you breathing space. The fact that you can turn your back on the buildings and you can look out on the ocean, I really like to go down to the beach. It's like you find little treasures and then you work that into jewellery and it's almost like you then give somebody a little piece of blow book to take home with them that people find amazing treasures. One of my favourite items to actually use in jewellery is to use cuttlefish. You can cast silver into a cuttlefish shell. It's the oldest form of casting. The cavity is there and then when you pour the silver into the cavity, sometimes it will run and fill the whole shell, sometimes it will only fill part of it. But what I like about that is it gives you the opportunity to almost work in the abstract. I grew up in Blowwork, so did my mom. We originally started with my mom's artwork and my jewellery, but now over time we've introduced various local artists to see when you come and visit us. In Congo DRC, I can't be scared of the water because I have to learn the water from a younger age. I have to know how to swim. Now in Cape Town, it's so difficult to see like a black man kiting or black man in the water. Wow, what he's doing there is gonna die. <laughs> As I get to Cape Town trying to find work and I end up being gagged on the parking at Big Bear. And one day I did meet this guy, Kevin Langer. He's a pro. He showed me how to pump a kite. Every day pumping the kites and creating more friends. One of the day they like, dude, let's go to Cabrina, you're gonna get a job. I started kiting now, it's a year now. Uh, when I'm in the water, it's like uh, I'm riding like in the aeroplane, like flying, you see anytime I can jump. I feel so happy. Let's say about five years time should be the next champion king of the age. Probably fished in surf all my life. The ocean's been a place where I sort of sit on my soul all the time. I have Robin Island in my office. Who could ask for anything better? It's been declared a heritage monument, hence the old rustic look. The house has been around for the last 212, 213 years. People come here even just to look at the house. Our menu is comprised of 90% traditionally West Coast meals. Two seasons ago, we probably sold three tons of hay, which should tell you how popular our fish is. If I could give on Zaisi a personality, she would be the lovely old lady sitting on the beach and just enjoying what's happening around her, enjoying the, the sunrise, enjoying the smell of the ocean, enjoying that ocean breeze. That's what a Zaisi feels like to me. It's just that person that's always been here and sort of just looking out at, at the magnificence of what Blowbrook Strand is. <laughs>